It's funny because Chris Mulkey and I ran into Chris the other day at, at, a, uh, at a meeting and uh, we were talking about it all these months later. We were talking about it and we both decided the reason that we did it to begin with it was that be is because it was actually about something. It wasn't just someone's personal experience that they wanted to put into a short film or some wacky idea that they thought would be visually interesting. It was about a subject that if we're not aware of, we should be aware of. I always joke that there's a little piece of me in every scene that I do. And whether that's true or not, I mean, I think it was in this case. I have a, a grown son. And when I read The Sacrifice, I, I did ask myself, how would I feel about this? Not necessarily how would, how would I react in Walter's place, but how would I, John Lindstrom, really feel if if someone showed up at the door that I had a history with and just, just announced to me that it was time for me to turn over my kid. And that was probably what informed my work more than anything, was, was Walter's position. He was in a very tenuous and interesting position. As an actor, I could look at it and say, this is interesting, I can play this. Walter's journey has really been about him making decisions that were really in the best interest for his child. And I mean, we, we all want to try and find what it is about a character that makes us want to love them in order to play them. And I think in that respect, Walter's selflessness, where his daughter is concerned, is, is what drives him most of all. But it also made me think about the power of your own upbringing, because we never really talk about it in the movie, but it's evident that, that both he and his wife have been raised in this religion, and that's a powerful place to come from and very, very difficult to break away from. Um, I mean, I would liken it to, I mean, given this particular uh, situation, to, a, to an abusive marriage where you hear so often that women can't walk away from this man that they love, but who is physically beating them, and they can't see a way out of it, or even think of a way to exist without it, or survive outside of it. And I think that's been Walter's uh, real conundrum about what to do. Now the day is coming, they know the day is coming that they try to leave, and they have tried to leave. Again, we don't talk about it, but the inference is, is that somebody tried to kill him. And they did try to run, and they didn't make it. They were unsuccessful. So, and if I stopped to think about it too much, I probably wouldn't have respected Walter as much as I do. And that's only because of the way I think he felt about his family and what was really important to him, because he did believe. And one of the good things that came from, I think, his religious background is that he was always taught and trained to believe that there's always something bigger than yourself. And I think in his case, since his religious ideals have fallen apart, the thing that is bigger than him is that the family unit that he's a part of and is supposed to be the head of and, and protect is bigger than him. Um.